Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Leagues for Trailblazer Reloaded. We got something special today so wait until the end but we really revamped all of our gear. Okay well one major part of it but you'll just have to wait and see. 150 Sir Arachnus kills down and we only got one more task to get from here. Well technically two if it would give me the damn cudgel already. Hey that one kind of snuck up on me. Reach combat level 100 for another task complete. Obtain 25 million magic experience and we've been AFKing here for so long. If you guys can see we're actually on kill 269. We just need to get to 300 and we still don't have a cudgel. Honestly I have not been very lucky when it comes to league's drops. And this is going to be kill number 300 without a cudgel. But we're going to get out of here. Maybe we'll come back another time when this is a little more AFK but... Honestly, I don't have to look at the screen for like a good two or three minutes. <laughs> All right, everybody, from our 300 Zerachna skills, we've got 15 grubby keys. And we got to break these bad boys open. Not only is it a task to open 15 grubby keys, I think we could use some supplies from here. We're hoping for Saradoman brews, but since we got the banker's note, we can literally bank everything. I don't even think we're going to need to bank during this 15 key thing. These supplies are really stacking up. It's really hard to get everything in my inventory now. I might have to go bank pretty soon. We've got the blue egg sack. One more thing we can actually get out of here is the orange egg sack. And we're down to our last five keys here. And we've got the orange egg sack too. No way. Wow, everybody. I think I need to improve my magic gear and go AFK Arachnus some more. So I can get the cudgel, and so I can get the pet now, and I can recolor it too. Okay, I had to bank. About 10 keys in, banker's notes still couldn't save you. But that's open 15 grubby chests for 10, 10 points? Are you certain me? What the f- And a quick and easy task, defeat a rune dragon. These things hit pretty hard when you have no gear. While we're killing stuff, we gotta get a fossil island wyvern out of here. And we're just able to pull in 90 defense. Literally just defensive casting. I've never trained it once. One leaf bladed sword for another collection log. Let's see if we can get the axe. And that's defeated Dagonoth in the Fremitic province for 40 points. Next up, Fletch a Willow short bow, For which I actually have to go chop one. Quip a Willow shield for another easy task out of the way. A Willow short bow for another medium task completed. And we're going to drop that because we don't need it. Hey, turn in 25 books for a medium task. All right, that one actually made it full. All the way up to level 60 rune crafting. I've done almost no rune crafting to get it there. Or at least <laughs> not enough to be considered actually training it. Turn in 50 library books. Last round of magical books. What are we going to get our rune crafting level to? That's right, 62 rune crafting. There we go. Smith a set of 10 steel bolts unfinished for another easy task complete. I also need to smith a steel plate body for yet another medium task. Mine ore with a rune pickaxe and mine and iron from this location is also a task, so that's a twofer. Equip a harpy bug lantern was one task completed. And building an oak larder should be another medium task. 7,000 points until the final relic. Build a waka canoe. And we gotta take it to Edgeville. One of the best animations in the game, obviously. And take it right back to complete the loop. Sorry to say cows. Let's see if we can kill six of you in six seconds. All right, they weren't all instant kills, so I don't think I'd... Oh, yeah, there we go. Six cows in 10 seconds. Drink the lizard kicker. For another easy task, bring a stew to the guy in the tree for some reason. And after that, let's craft a ruby amulet and then enchant it. And it should be a lumberjerry task as well. Craft a ruby amulet. And I have an amulet of strengths. Oh, I think I need to create an amulet of power right here. All right, let's try it again. Where'd my spirit trees go? That's so weird. <laughs> stage one, stage two, and stage three. Lumberge area task out of the way. And hopefully we get about 56. There we go. For another hard task done. 80 points in the bag. That's actually crazy. We're so close to the elite Lumberge diary. With a little to no effort. 
Let's go kill a steel dragon on Karamja. Slayer assignment only. Areas are really stupid. And that should be a task. Perfect. And 40 more points for the easy Karendan Kibos Diaries. What do we actually want to put this on? I feel like prayer. One more antique lamp and we're absolutely going to be putting this on prayer. Okay, there we go. With a fantastic experience drop, we got 69 prayer. Very nice. And that's the easy Karamja Diaries done. Straight to prayer again. And it's level 70 prayer. We just pretty much need to get to 77 and then we'll have everything unlocked for our prayer book. There we go. Craft 100 unpowered orbs for 40 point task. I feel like I can probably do that now that I have an anti-poison. And if I get one kill, it's a task along with a Zarek Talisman. Hopefully it'll drop that too. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Post potion created for another easy task. Combat potion completed. Ranged. Shadow of the Storm complete. And 67 range in the meantime. And fingers crossed we don't burn any. And cook 20 red berry pies. Didn't burn a single one. Let's see if we can get all 100 of these without burning one. And cook 100 pies. We're 80 points. We just got ourselves 85 Slayer and that actually means we can go kill Abyssal Demons and Sire now. About freaking time. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a Superior Jelly before. That's pretty nuts. Superior with two kills left in the task. That's nice. Dust Battle Staff. Heck yes. That's exactly what I needed. And our task is now over. Equip a Dust Battle Staff has got to be a point task. Yep. 80 points too. That's nice. All right. Let's see if we can kill a Scotizo. Looks like it's going to be really slow. I think there's crystals I'm supposed to take down. Maybe it's halfway through. I think the Arceus spellbook, Demon Bane weapons or spells would probably be what you're supposed to use here. Just gonna assume. 96 hit points fighting Skatizo 2. It feels like these things just spawn pretty much instantly after I hit Skatizo. So, yep, definitely just gonna leave him alone. Hey, one Skotizo kill for 80 points. Quite a couple of tasks, too. Skotizo champion, up for the challenge, and demonic weakening. Reach 1750 total level for another medium task complete. And we're on a mission, everybody. We've got to start the hunter grind so that way we can catch a ninja impling to get some rune battle axes so that way we can get to DKs. And on the way, we got to 74 hunter and now we're able to catch ninja implings. Oh my gosh, I'm not even kidding. It was the second ninja impling and I got the rune thrown axes. Let's go to DKs. Now we got to defeat all three Dagonoff gangs without leaving the room for a medium task. I totally forgot the anti-poisons. Last recall is going to be MVP here. And also we can't forget about the elite task completed over here. I've got all of my clues highlighted for uh, special drops. So whenever you see that purple down there, it's just a clue. It's nothing nice. <laughs> it gets me a lot too. Hey, there's our first real drop, a Warrior's Ring at 3kc. It's nice to see. It's essentially the most useless of the rings, but hey, we have it. There we go, Berserker's Ring. And Rex is just giving them out today, oh my god. And, of course, equip a Berserker's Ring is a task. Okay, so since Rex charges headfirst at me every time he sees me, I've killed him way more than the others, and we already have Dagonoth Rex Adept, which is 25 kills down the drain. Well, this is nice, I guess. The Seer Call! And Equip 1 is definitely a task. That's even nicer. Now I'm happy I got it. Oh, we got the Archer's Ring. Heck yes, everybody. Really starting to build out my uh, ranged gear as well. But of course, the mage gear comes last for the mage who's looking for it. All right, now that Prime's out of my face, I can go pick up my Archer's Ring. We got a dragon axe in the meantime. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I needed to see. And not even just a few minutes later, we've got Dagonoth Prime Adept. And of course, the third one in, Supreme Adept is complete as well. 
Still capping off my notorious dry streak here by not getting <laughs> the Seer's Ring, but we are at 50 Dagonoth kills each. So how far do we need to go? I think there's 150 tasks for DKs, so if we're crazy, we might stay here that long. But today I was not crazy, so we're going to get a couple of easy tasks out of the way, like catch a butterfly and catch a snowy knight, all in the same task for 50 points. Also, I do believe catch one of these birds is a task for the Relica area, and we've completed the easy Fremenic Diaries. And a genie, why not? These are pretty much the only random events that I've noticed. I barely get any random events, and I don't think I've gotten a frog one yet either. While I'm out here, I trapped a saber-toothed Hayat, and I think I'm going to need a couple of these pelts, so that way I can wear a full Kayat outfit for another task. Here we go. Equip a full made-up word outfit for 40 points. And in the same vein, we're going to complete the easy Varrock Diaries for another 40 points. Returning to Tolna's Dungeon was all I had to do to complete the medium Varrock Diary as well. Picking up my pet rock was one of the last tasks we needed to complete from the Relica Medium Diary 2. We're just knocking all of these out and let's see where we're going to put all of these lamps. Uh, a Ninja Imblink. I don't need you right now and I don't have my net. All right, where are we going to put all these? Construction? Prayer? Yeah. Prayer just feels right. Now that I think of it, the only really good way I have to train prayer is probably going to be go kill dragons or keep the bones from the Dagonaut. Good thing we got a lot from that kill count. But what's our level at? 73 prayer. So nice, everybody. And we only need five more levels to be able to get the final prayer in our prayer book. Oh, and now that I've done that, there's a simple task that I can complete. Deposit something from Pier the Seer. I'm really getting the itch to open it up, so I just gotta... <laughs> oh boy, look at all of those uniques. Three, two new ones, and no, actually four, five? Yeah, I want to open the rest of them. That feels good. There we go, two more new uniques in the bag, and we can always use the purple sweets. Already out of room, need to run to the bank. Next one. Ooh, uh, what is it? The, ah, the H3 shield. I think that's actually all the shields, too. A master clue, thank you. And back-to-back -back brown headbands, that's weird. All right, we've got seven more. What do you got for me? Gold, elegant shirt, penguin mask, Sarah Doman miter. I love to see it. Ooh, okay. Mm, nothing actually unique out of that one for us. But we've got the gold elegant legs and the black elegant legs. Really filling all the elegant pieces here. Good thing clues give you a lot of runes too. There we go. Mithril plate, skirt, and legs. Ranger boots again. Don't mind if I do. But we got a mithril plate skirt and that's what's new. Uh, ooh. Briar coat, black headband, adamant shield. We are really cracking our way through these clues. Ooh, a mithril plate body and then the green dehyde body G. I'm not 100% sure how far we're getting in this medium clue collection log because the medium clues do not drop very often. Well, there it is. We've got 200 million thieving experience and I officially need to find a new AFK spot. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Let's actually just take a little look at the statistics here. 143 thousand thieves from this guy and still no raccoon what the hell totally forgot how excellent of a cooking spot this is right here and we just pulled ourselves all the way up to 80 cooking okay we had to do it we had to come back for the seer's ring we finally got our mages gear everybody and it only took 63 kills with augmented drop rates what was yours if you pick the uh, Fremenic province, that is, because I've seen people walk in here in about 20 kills and get all of them. <laughs> One more weird task that you wouldn't think would be a medium task. Use the Dragon Axe special attack. We got ourselves a Mud Battle Staff on kill count number 81 off of Dagonoth Prime, and I'm really starting to get the hang of this. Now I just need to find more inventory space. Reach level 99 hit points. That one kind of snuck up on me, but I'm so glad to have it. And I'm pretty sure 
50 mil hit points is probably assured for this account. I am so glad I didn't take the time to find a new AFK spot. Oh my god, everybody. We got the Rocky pet. That's awesome. I now have two skilling pets in leagues that I don't have in the main game. Damn it. But there is actually a reason that I was still at this AFK spot. And that's because we needed one more Onyx. One, because it's a task. And two, because we needed to upgrade our amulet slot. And then we take it to the furnace and this should be the task completed. There we go, craft an onyx amulet for 200 points. And of course, enchant that bad boy for another one. No, not a task, all right, that's fine. I needed the fury anyway. But that was some decent progress today. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate you guys showing up. And if you stayed till the end, thank you so much for waiting until you got to see our brand new pet. That's still not on our main account. But until next time, everybody, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, and we'll see you all later.